President Uhuru Kenyatta on Friday reached out to fellow African leaders attending the G7 summit to align their message on protecting oceans, expanding regional trade and deepening regional stability. President Kenyatta met with President Macky Sala of Senegal and African Union Chairperson Paul Kagame, who is Rwanda's president, ahead of the G7 outreach segment, uh, or rather segment. So today he is also is set to meet South African president as well as the Indian Ocean Island nation of Seychelles. We are now joined by Manoa Sipi to the States a person who is joining us all the way from Canada by way of Skype. Mr. Sipi, it's good to be speaking to you. Um, as you've heard right there, uh, Mr. Kenyatta had a chance to meet with Paul Kagame as well as Segan Senegalese President Makisal. What were the fruits that were born from this specific conversation? Yeah, thank you. Uh, yesterday's meetings were uh, twofold. One, to align the African messaging at the G7 uh, outreach event, which happens uh, this morning. Uh, but the second segment of that was also to deal with our bilateral issues. So let me start with the bilateral ones. Uh, with Senegal, uh, the, the president announced that we would be opening an embassy in Dakar within the next four months. Uh, that is aimed at boosting our people-to-people -people relations as well as boosting trade uh, between ourselves and uh, uh, Senegal in particular, but also with Francophony uh, West Africa. We do not have an embassy in uh, French-speaking uh, West Africa, and this will be the first one. So this is going to be uh, a major deal for us. Uh, the Senegalese president wants uh, to improve uh, trade between Kenya uh, and Senegal, and we'll be looking at what it is we can export there and what it is they can import from us. Uh, we, uh, the president then discussed uh, the, the Blue Economy Summit coming up in Nairobi in November uh, and, and looked at the basic things that need to be done in order for us to uh, consider that we're making progress. So one is our ocean governance, uh, ocean governance issues, uh, maritime security issues, as well as dealing with illegal and unauthorized uh, fishing uh, within African waters. Uh, this is the same message that uh, the president then took to uh, Pre President Kagame, uh, who as AU chair is obviously concerned about the security of, of our maritime area. He's concerned about uh, Africans uh, getting greater value for their, uh, for their maritime resources. And this is a matter that President Kenyatta completely uh, agrees with him. Uh, so in, in a sense, those, the, the maritime security issues and the things we can do about preventing and managing and mitigating against disasters uh, wrought by climate change uh, were the things with uh, President Kagame as well. And then uh, he will, the president will meet uh, President Danny Fauré of uh, Seychelles uh, late, later today. Uh, and, you know, Seychelles is punching above its weight in terms of, in terms of its uh, uh, managing of its oceans resources. And it is uh, one country that we wish to partner with in terms of getting our fisheries uh, uh, going, especially in the agro-processing area. The other key meeting the president had yesterday was with uh, the Prime Minister of Jamaica, uh, Prime Minister Andrew uh, Holness. And that meeting focused on improving uh, trade between Kenya and Jamaica. Uh, and the first step of that would be to look at uh, the possibility of code sharing between the Jamaican Airlines and Kenya Airways uh, once Kenya Airways start flying to New York directly in October. The big thing about that would be that Jamaica would use Kenya Airways as its entry point into Africa, uh, which would be a big win for us. And secondly, uh, Jamaica would like to see more cultural exchanges, more entertainment exchanges uh, between themselves uh, and Kenya. Uh, so it wouldn't, it might not be too long before we start sending coaches to Jamaica for to look at uh, their short short races. As you know, they are sprint kings and queens, and we are distance runners. So we would see their coaches coming the opposite direction.
All right, thank you so much, Isipisu. Mano Isipisu, State House spokesperson, giving us an update of the G7 summit there. As you've had a few of the new markets that Kenya is bugging is Jamaica, as well as also what Kenya will be doing in terms of security uh, when it comes to the world oceans, especially now as the world is marking World Ocean Day, as well as the role that Kenya will play when it comes to ocean pollution. Mano Isipisu, they are giving us an update from Quebec. Um, of course, we'll be keeping an eye on this as it continues to unravel.